Hi there and welcome to Storytime with Uncle Bill. And today's story is um, just kind of how I find myself in just uncomfortable, unpredictable, like never supposed to happen spots, kind of, damn, how did, why did that happen? And it involves this this white tiger that uh, I told you represents the last thing I gave my friend David Lee. And um, he used to, we used to always compare each other to animals. We, we, we know we're human beings, but in reality, it's just really easy to have the same tendency that animals have. And, uh, you know, my friends were all alpha males, man. And um, if you look right now, going across the world, everything's waking up and stuff's clashing to mate and so growing up as a kid like playing sports and fighting and who could do the most mischief stealing even like crazy masturbating games and uh cussing d d drugs i mean we was we was down for whatever for sure all of us um some of us not so much in others but they they was the ride. They was they were our rise of uh, cheerleaders. I mean, we we was out there doing everything, and um, especially me, David Lee, and Jason Monday. Um, like we competed against each other hardcore, and um, each one of us had a strength. Um, not a whole lot of weaknesses and. We together you couldn't do anything with us, and individually we we had some of each other, so we was cool. But uh, maybe not so much liked by everybody. Everybody thought it was cool. everybody thought we were cool, but it was it was, it was kind of a tough crowd. And um, so I had found this. This is just a found piece of because um, I did remodeling and stuff and. A lot of times people move out of their house or get evicted or just run and they leave their, a bunch of their stuff behind. This was, this happened to be one and he used to always call me the tiger. Um, I always had reasons or called me all kind of, and, and, what do you think Jay is? Or what do you think Pat is? Or what do you think I am? And this would happen Every every couple months, forever, for the whole time I know, um, just one of his things. Oh, you're like an Arctic fox, and I mean just everything. So how this comes into play is uh, I was on Facebook and I seen that he had posted party at my house. Anybody can come by. You're all welcome. And he had uh, these stuffed animals on in this in his living room over there in the thing and uh i thought it probably looked cool over there and he he had cancer and uh i i ain't been to see him a whole lot I just uh he, he knew how it was um in the wild when you eat you're supposed to get eat and um and that's just the way we thought people got to understand when i got shot you know a lot of people say oh, i can't even tell you got a limp I'm just not trying to be uh, the weak one. The strongest predators on earth always go for the weak and the old. They don't go after the strong ones. It's, it's just, it just is what it is. So, <clears throat> I grabbed this and, and I was had intentions of getting pictures with him and shit. And, um, because I knew, I knew he was in trouble. Um, health wise. And, uh, I, I go over there I brought this, and there was a few cars out front, and I didn't recognize none of them. And uh, I, I think it, I, it turns out, I think his old lady's, his girlfriend's old, his girlfriend's daughter's birthday. And there's um, there's quite a, there's a couple parents over there, um, his stepmom and, and sister over there, and uh, who I hadn't seen in a while. I seen their funeral, but I didn't really talk to them much. And um, some girls, some little girls. 
so like five to twelve years old. There's maybe ten of them. And uh, there was a couple guys, Dave and his brother, and uh, two other dudes. <clears throat> and the girls was in the in the in the, in the, the living room, uh, the dining room, kitchen area, and we was in the living room area. And you could see you could see each other. Um, and I was sitting with my back facing the girls, facing the guys. Uh, his brother was to my right. And um, some of us, we started talking about girls getting dirty and stuff. And, and uh, one of my previous videos, when I talked about my 30 crazy, my crazy month, and uh, doing the messing with the girl and the swallowing thing, when she had caught me and was all mad, and I was like, look, I'm so sorry, I'll never do it again. And I ain't finished, go ahead and get down here and do what you need to do. And that's how that was resolved. And, um, but I had said, I had said it uh, a, a little bit like, yeah, you, well, if, if what you, like, if what you need to do is swallow, you need to get down there and suck on this cock. I said it like that. And, um, uh, and she did and the next thing I know and, and I had heard I got good ears now I had heard somebody tell the girls that they need to go in the bedroom so I'm thinking ain't nobody around you know what I mean and um and David Lee's sister walks out in front of us and she's like, I need to talk to you outside. I talk to David, I need to talk to you outside. And when they hit the door, I was like, damn it, it's me. I must have been caught cussing again or saying something sexual. Cause I used to get in trouble for that a lot over everybody's house. If it wasn't that, it was smoking cigarettes. And uh, it was just talk people. I mean, it's probably a little vulgar and stuff. It was just words. It happened, you know what I mean? It was exactly, it was the truth. Uh, one of the girls, you, you know how it is too, there's a group of adults and everybody's supposed to be in the room but there's always one or two kids got to be there and here I am, got to get in damn trouble for the shit. And, uh, <laughs> but David Lee's special. He ain't, he ain't like nobody he just don't give a real damn and uh, and uh, so the sister comes back in and she was like well damn it David uh, all your family's over here and uh, it'd just be easy to have that other person go home and he was like man you need to shut your fucking mouth I've known that dude 30 some odd years. He's been through me for everything. I mean, he went to prison for me. What the hell are you talking about? Somebody said cock. And uh, his old lady was like, well, what am I supposed to tell my daughter when she comes up to me and what does something cock mean? And he was like, yeah, you tell her that's just something she'll be doing when she gets older. That's exactly the kind of dude. He was like, man, I don't listen to you bitches and you don't come over to my house talking shit. That's why I left y'all and moved in with my grandma so I didn't have to be around you. And I feel bad, people. Man, I did not mean this. You know what I mean? But this is a classic David Lee reaction. And like, me and him used to have really deep conversations folks I mean way way deep long forever forever talking um about whatever we he had a laugh it would be so loud so it was so big and you would get sucked up into it and he'd be trying to tell the story but he he can't get the words like he's laughing too hard man he ain't laughing right now though 
and uh, I knew I, I just had to get out. I had to. I had to. I had, I had to defuse the situation because I'm, I'm. I'm the one that I guess caused it. You know, I mean to. I was like, oh man, I forgot my phone. I forgot my phone, uh, uh, and my phone's in the car, and it was in my back pocket. So I go outside and. Uh, David Lee follows me and shit. And I was like, look, dude, I'm sorry. He was like, man, fuck that shit, dude, you know. That ain't nothing, man. Not after all we've been through. I go in there and just cause hell right now. I'm like, no, don't do that, don't do that. And I had text um, his brother. And I was like, look, man, it probably won't mean anything. But if you could tell him, I apologize. I, I really didn't mean to do that, folks. I was talking this way. And um, to guys, it's God talk. And um, he, he, I had gave it to him earlier. I went over, he put it in the front of his TV in his bedroom. He's a good liar too. A lot of all the time, a lot about everything. And um, never had to lie about anything, just lie about everything. And uh, even sometimes told some of my stories um, that he knew, he knew that didn't happen to him, he knew it. But it, I, a lot, all these stories I'm telling you, I've told these stories a thousand, thousand, thousand times, thousand times. Um, But uh, that was, that was, and I wasn't even there 20 minutes. And it was a bad scene, it was ugly. Because they, every, they was, I mean, like, there was women over there, and David Lee really had a problem with women. Real, real bad problem with women. And, um, problem with authority. Uh, he really had a, he liked his friends. And his dad and his little brother. And his sister said, but he, he was, man, he was, he was my man. And I, I really wish he didn't stick up for me, y'all. Oh, really, I could have just. I could just, hey, I walked out, you know, I, want, I was walking out, I, I knew when I seen her what the problem was. Maybe I should have walked out then, you know. Um, it's hindsight, you wouldn't live much longer. Wasn't well, doing or done anything, you know. And, um, man, it's kind of a messed up story, but his old lady, um, She called me up and she goes, I know you gave this to me one. I was like, yeah, I think we have one. So if you ever wonder, that's how it was and that's the crazy story with it. And uh, if you like it, hit the like button, share and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, tell me what you thought and got plenty more stories to come. Thanks for stopping in. Y'all have a good night. Peace.